The U.S. government has dropped its appeals against the state's order to defuel Red Hill. This comes nearly five months after the Department of Health ordered the Navy to come up with a plan to safely empty the storage tanks after a water contamination crisis started last November. The feds went to federal and state courts to try to block the order, saying at the time they intended to voluntarily comply, but then challenged the health department's authority to enforce it. So as long as the Navy was not acknowledging the legal authority of Department of Health to call the shots, it reserved the, the, the right to change its mind anytime it wanted, uh, to leave fuel in the Red Hill tanks, uh, to take a year instead of 30 days to get the fuel out. So, so these things are, are, are not mere details. Uh, they are where the rubber hits the road as far as protecting our water supply. We do welcome uh, that on this Earth Day, uh, the Navy has decided uh, to give up its fight the Navy has until the end of the month to come up with an emergency plan acceptable to the state health department. That deadline was already extended from February. The order says the tanks must be defueled within 30 days of it being safe to do so. We did reach out to the Navy for comment. We have not yet heard back.